look like Paris Saint-Germain's winless streak at the Mosson was set to continue after both Presnil Kimpembe and Idrissa Gay limped off. Leandro Paredes inadvertently handed Montpellier the lead. This is the fourth own goal in the past three clashes between the sides. Yet the match turned on the sending off of Pedro Mendes and a whirlwind seven minutes the champions banished La Mosson Blues. Neymar levelling matters moments after Mendes' walk. The Brazilian sixth goal of the season out of the top drawer. La Payette were unbeaten in six in the league but came to an end as old foe Kylian Mbappe netted his fourth against Montpellier in five appearances. That is 72nd PSG goal, moving him ninth in the club's all-time list, just two weeks shy of his 21st birthday. Amaro Icardi became the first since Neymar to score six goals in his first six league starts. 11 goals in 14 outings in all competitions, rounding off a comeback win that keeps PSG out in front. Bordeaux had won at the Velodrome for 11 and a half years, and while a distant memory, it was the long range sharp shooting of Yassine Adli that gave the Girondin hope of snapping that long wait. All three of the teenagers' Liga and Conferama goals coming from outside the box. But after going behind for the first time since their October defeat to PSG, Marseille came storming back. Jordan Amavi scoring for the first time since 2015 in the league, three minutes after the restart. And Andre Vias Boas's side went in hunt of a winner, forcing an error, but no mistake for Morgan Sanson. Anything Adley can do. And red hot Nemanja Radonic came on to wrap up a sixth successive win for OM with his third goal in four league outings. Lille had the win back in their sails and they continued their penchants for 1-0 league wins as they made it three on the trot against Visitin Bress. A role reversal for the midweek win at Lyon. Jonathan Ikoni on hand to help Victor Osiman to net his ninth of the season. All coming at the Stade Pierre Mauvois. Imagine if the 20-year-old Nigerian hotshot took his goal-scoring show on the road. Mbe Niang was the main event at Rosan Park as the striker scored for the first time since week 13. That after fine service from Brazilian Rafinha. Strutting around like Anthony Joshua after regaining his heavyweight belts. The Senegalese again linked with the Brazilian to make it seven for the season. Last season's tally of 11, very much in his sights. Rashid Alaoui set up a tense finale, but Andre couldn't find a knockout blow. A third straight defeat for Sko. Nantes won for the eighth time this season by a solitary goal to down Dijon, thanks to Ludovic Blas. The summer arrival from Gangon with his third goal in his last five outings, as many as in his previous 72 appearances. The Canaries then soaring up to sixth. Leon travelled south to the birthplace of Denham, hoping to bounce back against struggling Nîmes. Any worries for Rudy Garcia were removed with the dismissals of Theo Valls and Gaetan Paquier inside 40 minutes. And Memphis Depay celebrated his 100th Liga Conferam appearance for OL with a 16th minute Panenka to open the scoring. Yet it took until after the hour mark for Leon to strike again against the nine men. Their Dutch talisman answering the call with the Centurion's ninth of the season. Well, Dubai removed to keep him in cotton wool ahead of OL's vital Champions League date with RB Leipzig, but not before Osam Awa netted his second of the season and first since week two. Well, this weekend's number for Neem was 10. Joachim Andersen's first league on Conferama goal was the 10th they've conceded in just two games. And the 4-0 defeat means 10 without a win for the toothless Crocodiles. It had been 43 years since France last beat Saint-Étienne in Liga Conferama, but Rémy Oudin put them on course with his second of the season. Opportunity knocking for the 23-year-old. 
Yet a veteran of Lever cancelled it out just shy of the hour mark. Sante looking to stretch their unbeaten run against Stad in the top flight to 17 matches. Roman Amuma with the smiles. But parity was short-lived as Boulet Dia grabbed his fifth of the season, the first time since their stunning September win at PSG. But David Guillon's side had scored two in a league match. And Moussa Dumbia confirmed just a second Sonti defeat in the last 14 outings in all competitions as Rance rediscovered their scoring touch. After a target-free hitting first half, Wissam Ben Yedder's vicious shot was too hot to handle for Regis Gutner, out on his own with 11 at the top of the league and Conferama scoring charts. And it instigated an eight-minute goal burst. Alexander Gullivan finding Chile international Guillermo Maripan, the defender's first goal in France. And Keita Baldi helped start and finish the move that saw Monaco win 3-0 and make up for the loss of suspended Islam Slamani, Amien, a fourth straight league defeat. Beaten 4-1 at saint Etienne in midweek, Nice this time enjoyed the scoreline at Messi's expense, with William Cyprian getting things underway with a quite stunning strike. Adam Unas then went down under pressure from Stopila Sunzu, Far convincing referee is Jeremy Pignard that the Zambian had impeded Unas. And Cyprian followed Depay's lead the night before to net a classy Panenka to send the Eagles soaring. Nice did lose Youssef Atal after 30 minutes, but his replacement, Ignatius Ganago, made the most of his appearance with a goal. A brilliant cross, the Cameroonian youngster ghosting in for his first since netting a consolation against Paris Saint-Germain. Captain and top scorer Abib Diallo went off injured, but his young Senegalese teammate came on to finally net for Mets. 20-year-old Ibrahima Niani is second of the season, but it proved just a consolation as Nice ended as they started. Pierre Les Melou with an early Christmas cracker to send the Eagles home happy. Thierry Laurie's side came into the clash battered after a bruising 5-0 loss at Brest and inside three minutes Nicola Isima Mirin reacted quickest to give Toulouse the lead. The Purples though had lost six on the bounce and failed to deal with Dimitri Leonard's cross which Lamine Kone gobbled up. And it was three first half goals inside the opening half an hour as Adrien Thomason swept Strasbourg into the lead. Auxerre's legendary coach Guy Roux was in attendance and he would have enjoyed the entertainment. Ludovic Ajorc stooping to seemingly put the Easterners on easy street. Yet to lose showed fight. Wesley Said found Matt Sell's bottom left corner to set up an exciting finale. But the 23rd goal scored in Strasbourg's last five matches went for the host as Lebo Motiba was on hand to generate a 4-2 win to put nine points between the sides. 35 goals in an action-packed week 17, the most this season so far. Four goal holes for Lyon, Nice and Strasbourg, while Trebles leading PSG, Monaco and Reims to wins, as well as Marseille who confirmed their position as the best of the rest. OM to within five points of PSG, although the champions with a game in hand. Leo back on the podium after a third straight win with Rennes also leapfrogging beaten Bordeaux, not Lyon and Sante within wins of the top three. Monaco, Angers and Nice itching to climb into the top half of the table. Strasbourg's win puts daylight between them and the relegation zone to leave Toulouse in trouble alongside Nîmes, who have conceded 10 goals in their past two Ligue 1 Conferama matches. The penultimate round before the winter shutdown sees Losk open against Montpellier. Marseille can move to within two points of the summit before a blockbuster Sunday sees Lyon face Rennes and Sante host champions PSG.